This is 2OF Entertainment. Welcome to our new videos, which is a drive through of London and the UK. Hopefully to give you an understanding of some of the areas that may not be as fully exposed or have the marketing that you see usually in areas such as Mayfair, Knightsbridge, Belgravia, which you're probably used to. Uh, as a search agent, we cover you know, areas around London and uh, really helps because I believe that's what our job is to show clients not only properties in the areas which they think they've, they would like to move to, but give them alternatives which will have maybe better value, different lifestyle choices, and as a property is your biggest purchase you'll ever make, uh, I think this is, this is something we can help with because uh, ultimately we want to make sure you're happy in your purchase and so you can recommend us and refer us to friends and family. So we'll head off um, and start our journey. We're actually in North London currently, in a place called Tottridge and Whetstone. So uh, we'll turn around, take you through the high street, show you some of the amenities, and talk you through some of the history and um, the sort of um, the history of the area and the location. Um, just to give you an idea, Whetstone. The name Whetstone. Some people believe came from the Griffin Public House, where there's a stone outside where I. Where the soldiers sharpen their blades during the Battle of Barnet. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see that, if we do I'll try and point it out to you and I'll take you through some of the other areas here to show you what it's like. So just bear with me, we'll just um, start our journey shortly. So we're on the high street now. As you can see there's various shops both on the left and the right you have your usual bars, cafes, restaurants, anything from Indian restaurants to Greek, to Turkish, to British cafes. Uh, it's, it's a lot of choice, to be honest with you. There's, uh, you know, there's, there's a choice here that would not disappoint most people. Also Italian, which I may have missed out. You also have your uh, hair and nail salons and there's a shisha place as well which is growing in popularity on the right hand side along with that you have your Waitrose, your Marks and Spencer, your Boots which if you're in the UK these are well-known brands And we're just turning right onto Tottridge Lane from Tottridge High Street. Now Tottridge Lane has the tube station, Tottridge and Whetstone. And as you can see, you've got good transport links here. You'll see some buses as well. So it's got great bus routes. You've got the London Underground as well. And as you can see on the left-hand side, actually, you'll see the Griffin Public House, which I spoke about earlier. And you can just about see the stone just on the pavement. Uh, if you can't see it, I'll try and highlight it to you, but you can just about see it. In fact, hopefully as I got a red light, you'll be able to see it much clearer. So just on the left-hand side, you'll see the raised stone. There is another theory about this, but one of the theories, I've, as I've explained, is about the soldiers of the Battle of Barnet sharpening their their swords on that wet on that stone hence the word whetstone we should really talk about properties and the prices and what you get here now in this part of whetstone you get the new build apartments so you do have the flats and the new builds in this area due to new developments that have recently happened as we turn right onto Sodry Lane, you'll see why they used to call this, or they still call this, 
the Beverly Hills of London in that you get some large estates large houses which range from anything from around two to three million up to around the average around five six million but I have seen properties here at around 20 so as we turn in and we go further down Tottridge Lane you will see the reason why they call it the Beverly Hills of London and probably not known to many people unlike Hampstead which we'll cover later in a different video which is also part of North London and as a search agent we work with all the local agents to find the right property but as well as working with local agents we work with solicitors, accountants, uh, developers so we get a wider range of available assets North London being very popular because it has a lot more green spaces, a lot more open areas so if you like to go for your walks or jogging or in fact walking the dog this is the ideal location there's different styles of housing in this area so it should suit all all requirements really from traditional to pre and post war to brand new builds as well the beauty of this area also there's still some opportunities to buy land and put your own stamp onto things the one thing about the UK is the buying and selling regulations, although are standardised, the only thing to be aware of, aware of is we are split into different councils and each council has different planning regulations and rules to follow. We're just passing the South Hearts Golf Club on the right, which you may have just seen the entrance, if not we'll try and show you that next time. There's also a tennis club on the right hand side as well coming up. So again, if you like golf and tennis, another ideal location, you don't really have to travel far. You can probably walk it if, if you buy the property in the, in the right location here. There's a little nursery school coming up on the left, but also you have a, a famous pub that a lot of people go to called the Orange Tree here. You'll see that coming up on the left shortly. And Tottridge Green we're just passing, which has got a, a nice little lake there, a nice little pond actually, and some great properties in that location as well. So you've got the school here, and then you've got the orange tree coming up, as you can see. I can see some people outside enjoying a few drinks already. And you'll see a development on the left, just a refurb of a of property. Gives you an idea of there are some works happening still here and there is still some land as mentioned. I love this road, nice little windy country road in a way, but not too small. So great if you've got a nice car or the roof down in summer. Just a lovely little road really. And you'll also notice with Tottridge and Whetstone is you've got uh, a lot of history some churches here and you really feel like you're in a village but you're still part of a town you're very close to London the actual center of London is around 45 minutes by car and by tube so it's not that far at all so in other videos we'll cover things like uh, council taxes uh, also property taxes and the buying and the selling process and also reasons more reasons why to use a buying agent or also known as a search agent like myself and the real benefits of of such a service property on the left you can see which is a large large estate that's owned I believe by the Sports Direct owner and Sports Direct being a very large sports brand sportswear company which we can show you also that he has a he has one of his 
shops in Piccadilly. See the great little pond on the left. Now the views in some of these properties out looking the back is amazing. It's large. It's like being in the countryside. So if you're interested, drop me a message, drop me a, a DM and we can cover some of the properties here as well. And also if there's an area you want us to cover or interested to see, let me know. Happy to see how we can accommodate. We're here really to educate and help people whether they use our services or not. Another thing to bear in mind is my company and myself, we do search work here in London, also in Dubai and Mumbai. But something that makes me unique in London is that I usually manage the apartments or the houses that we find for clients or some clients have the property and need management. And because they're usually uh, buyers that have got second homes, holiday homes, and need somebody here just to look after that for them. That may be just to look and inspect the property from time to time, arrange the maintenance contracts, and just generally help and answer any uh, expenses questions and keep a separate account of their expenses for that particular property. There are still some farms in this area. It's, uh, it's where a lot of people come also to, to bring their children for, for the farms here. It's just another aspect of, of the area. As you can see, it's very green. Lots of open spaces, lots of rights of way here as well to explore. And it's definitely an area worth considering, especially if the lifestyle is what you're looking for. We have another development on the right. And we're coming up to a small pub called The Rising Sun. I've never actually been to this pub, so something I'll have to come and show you possibly one day and do a review on. And of course, if you're interested to see some of the side roads here and some of the properties in more details, again, just drop me a message and happy to sort of see what we can do and arrange that. It's nice to also, I think, get these driving videos because you can see what it's like to, to drive in the UK and in London. Of course, if you have a driver or a chauffeur, this may not be applicable. However, um, I think it's quite interesting to, to sort of see other places and uh, how people drive. You'll see what type of cars we have. Hopefully you find that interesting. Almost uh, finished with the Totteridge Lane, and we're coming up to the end of Totteridge and Whetstone now. And we're probably heading more into the Mill Hill and Edgware side of North London. Those areas we'll cover on a different video. And hopefully, you enjoy this short trip and some information on the area. And if you like, please let us know, comment. And I'll be hopefully showing you another drive-through journey shortly.